I want to say something to my people. How quickly we forgot that we came over here as slaves. How quickly we forgot that we've been mistreated the whole time we've been here, even after the so-called Emancipation Proclamation. One time they called us only three-fifths of a man. Chapter 9, 2, chapter 1, verse, uh, verse 1 through 3. Gather yourselves together, ye, gather together, O nation not desire. We are a nation not desire. We are a nation. I don't understand why we're so quick to want to be included in this country. They've never accepted us. They've never accepted us. They pacified us. Now they got Barack Obama. It's just another pacification. You give a baby a pacifier, baby's getting no nourishment from that pacifier. Barack Obama is not giving us any nourishment. There's no hope for Barack, with Barack Obama. Keep going. Before the decree bring forth before the day pass as the shaft, before the fifth anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. The Most High is calling us to come back as a nation and gather together before he brings wrath upon this country. If we're continuing to, to be involved with this place, this country, and, and uh, seek to be included and have hope in this place, we're going to be destroyed, just like this country is going to be destroyed. America is going to be destroyed. Make no mistake about it. In the uh, Revelation chapter 18, so it was one. America is going to be destroyed. Another name for America is called Babylon. Okay. And after these things, I saw an angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was laden with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is falling. Babylon the Great is falling. This country is going to fall. The way we know that this country is Babylon, this country, the leaders and the forefathers of this country are worshiping the same gods as the Babylonians did back in the day. They're fall. You can just look at the nation's capital, the thing that they call the Washington Monument, is an altar to ball. You know they got a law in Washington, D.C. You can't build any building higher than the Washington Monument. That's how much they reverence their God. In actuality, Ball is just another uh, name for Satan. This country is satanic. The forefathers are worshiping Satan. Anybody who knows anything about Freemasonry knows that the people in the high degrees of Freemasonry are basically worshiping Lucifer. All the forefathers of this country are high degree Freemasons. Even most of the presidents, George Bush, straight up satanic. Babylon is falling. Babylon the Great is falling. And he becomes the habitations of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. This place is going to get destroyed. Reverend Wright was telling the truth when he, when he said that. Barack Obama disowned him for telling the truth. That's, not, that's one thing. You know there's no hope in Barack Obama. He's going to renounce the truth. Why, why are we so excited about Barack Obama becoming president? Yeah, they decided that, that Christ is your king. Christ is black too. They decided to Barack Obama, a, a black man, is going to become president of this wicked nation. Right? Let's go with Zephaniah 1. chapter 1, 14 through 18. There's no hope in this place. If, if we don't come out of this place, we're going to get destroyed along with this place. In order for us to come out of this place physically, we got to come out of this place mentally and spiritually first. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the homeland shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. This is the richest country in the world. It doesn't matter how much money this place got. It's not going to save them from the day of the Lord. This place is going to be destroyed. Right. It may not seem so. It may seem like we got all the weaponry, or they got all the weaponry, I should say, and that nobody can take this place out. But you don't understand the Most High. The Most High can take anything out. Right. It's already been decreed. That's right. 
Obadiah chapter 1, verse 15. Just like back when we were slaves in Egypt, a lot of us didn't want to didn't leave Egypt, didn't want to leave Egypt. And those of us that stayed behind and went back to Egypt got struck with the same place Egypt got struck with. We don't come out of this place, we're going to get struck with the same place, the same destruction this place is going to get struck with. It's the same thing. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Ye, they shall drink. Over that one. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done until thee. The day of the Lord is upon the heathen. The day of the Lord is upon this, this empire. Look what this empire has done. Look what they did to the Native, the so-called Native Americans. Look what, do, look what they did to us. Look what they're doing to Iraq, the Iraqis, the Afghanistan people. It's going to come right back on them. This place is going to be destroyed. 